For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that how to reduce your LVM size. Okay, which only for ext4 file system. Okay, which are the uh, steps I am going to uh, uh, do over here. It is that. Okay, before doing this one. Okay, there is an, a sixth step which is going to be and check for any errors okay these are the uh, steps we are going to do um, actually for reducing your file system first of all shut down all your applications or the databases which are hosted on that lvm then complete the backup okay in the sense take complete backup of that lv in case of any errors or in case of anything happened to that lv you can restore the data back and unmount the lvm file system then assure the entry in file fs tab entry to unfortunate mounts or uh, any uh, mounts okay to prevent the mounting automatically and these options so whatever the will reduce procedure we are going to see in this session it's only support for ext2 and ext3 and ext4 file systems though there is no xfs file system support for this okay you can reduce the uh, xfs file system but that needs to done with the different steps okay and check for any errors so which is going to be do on uh, using the e2fs ck file system so any block errors or any size errors which will be uh, fix it before you do a reduce now we are going to see that which file system so the file system is ext4 part the mount point and the ext4 this one we are going to reduce from 2 gb to 1 gb in size now i'm just going to do a fs tab entry over here and just comment this and now unmount slash ext4 part and you can go ahead and see that there's no ext4 now and you can just type mount hyphen for mount hyphen a for reconfirmation okay there is no ext4 partition mounted back now just run e2 fs ck f and go to slash vz and lv path lv0 and now you can see that there is no errors found or there is no black issues there is no size this is all are fine now what we are going to do over here it is that we are going to reduce the file system which means that the first of all we do a resizing the file system then reduce the actual lvm size okay resize fs okay resize to fs and uh, provide your uh, lv path okay lv0 i'm going to reduce up to 1 gb right so that's why i'm going to give you 1 gb in size if you want to reduce up to in the sense if your disk is 10 gb then you would like to remove out of uh, 8 gb from 8 then we have to do in reverse way you have to do resize the file system to 2 gb or if you want to only remove the uh, 2 gb from 8 then you have to reduce your file system to 8 gb so in this case i am going to reduce to 1 gb okay the file system because i want to remove 1 gb size from that partition okay so do a resize of 1 gb now your uh, file system has been reduced 
now you can reduce your lv reduce okay i am going to do a capital l and 1 gb size okay and which means that i am just removing the 1 gb size from that partition okay and provide the path of slash tv slash vc0 and lv path okay the partition is going to be reduced over here then your partition has been reduced to, to from 2 gb to 1 gb in size now you just go to slash etc slash fs tab entry and uncomment this mount line then type mount iphone a now you can go ahead and see that the file system ext4 has been come to 1 gb in size okay so it's not exactly 1 gb because there is some mismatch in the extent sizes so that's why it comes nearby 9 9 mb to nearby 1024 mb something like that okay so that is how you can reduce your lvm partitions okay be careful while doing this lv reduce okay don't confuse if you confuse you are resizing your file system then the data may corrupt okay that's about this lv reduce process thanks for watching stay tuned if you have any questions you can comment on the comment section if you want more series of these videos okay you can look up in the description area so there is a link for playlist okay you can see entire series in this please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask